Take those health and fitness things you get out of an Apple Watch or a Fitbit and cram them into a ring. And get the Ultra Human Ring Air. I've been testing it for a while, so let's break it down. So before we get too far, let's start with ease of use and feel. Now, if you don't know your ring size, they will send you a ring sizing kit. Otherwise, you can order this directly. Now, as far as wearing it goes, it feels just like a ring. It is very strong, so I've had no worries there. The only time I really notice it is if I'm gripping something really hard, lifting something heavy, and my fingers squeezing, I kind of feel it between there. But other than that, I almost forget it's there. It's worked out great. Now, when you do get it, you're gonna have to set it up download the app and it runs you through everything. It will sync the device so that it knows about it. It can start pulling the data from it. It will set up some questions for you to know things about you, your weight, your height, things like that. It was in kilograms, which was a little bit odd for me. I had to convert those manually. So they need to do a little bit better job supporting their different regions. But outside of that, the setup was a breeze no issues there. Now moving on to the data it collects, and I am pretty amazed by this considering it's just a ring, it can do all of these things. So some of the things you're gonna get out of this are sleep tracking, temperature tracking, movement index with steps, calories burned, activity tracker, active hours and workout frequency, recovery score, which takes a lot of those previously mentioned things and other items into account. and tells you where you're at and what you can do to help improve your recovery. Macro tracker, if you wanna track all your different food and have a breakdown based on calories of what you've consumed and where you're at throughout the day. Heart rate, HRV and resting heart rate and lots more. And I'll put plenty on the screen as we go through this video. So keep watching those so you can just see the different types of things it collects and all the data that's gonna be available to you. And as far as how it does with all these different things it collects, I have been very impressed. I had a couple non-standard life events happen recently that put this to the test. The first is we went hiking at Hocking Hills first. If you've never been there, you should check it out. It is amazing. If you've been there, let me know. I love talking about it. But really, we just did a ton of hiking and I was very curious on what this would do, how it would compare the stats from my Apple Watch because I wore that as well. And it was right in line. It was very close to the stats report of that. So it knew my step count, my heart rate, and it collected all sorts of data. It did a fantastic job. The other thing is I've been experimenting with cold baths or ice baths. And with that, this collects the temperature of your skin. I was very curious if it would show up or if it would just really not do much. It's kind of a fake thing. And my charts, when I did that, it would go down dramatically. You would see a dip, you knew exactly when I got into that ice bath. But this showed me, it actually takes my body quite a while to recover, which shows the benefits of ice baths and that they're longer lasting than just while you're in there. But it really helped me understand the impact it had on my body. It just really verified that this is doing what it's supposed to. So I was very impressed with its accuracy and the data it collects. One thing that did annoy me a little bit is that you need internet access on your phone to sync this. So when I was in the middle of nowhere, Hocking Hills with no cellular, I couldn't see my stats. And I didn't like that. They need to come up with a way to still be able to sync to the app and then upload to the internet later, but still allow you to get to your data at the real time when you're doing things but no internet. Plenty more to come, but if at any point you do consider getting this ring, please consider using my free link. It supports the channel, keeps reviews like this coming, and oh, use LWT10 to save 10%. So at this point, pretty positive, but now I wanna talk about data, and it's been a bit of a mixed opinion. Now, on the data front, is what you get, what's out there, how much you have to work with, it is fantastic. That's a huge pro. I love how much there is. But getting to it, that's a little bit more of a challenge and something I think they need to improve upon, which will probably happen over time. But the word that I keep coming back to is flow. It just doesn't seem to flow as far as how it's laid out, how it's presented, and how intuitive it is to get these different things. Sometimes there's an index screen which gives you a score and has a different presentation. You click on that and then there's all sorts of data within that. And it's just kind of bounced around a little bit. It's really not that big of a deal. It's a mild grumble. I think this is something that, again, will improve over time. Another thing I noticed is some of the data is consolidated. So you think, oh, it's just gonna show me a daily snapshot once I'm past the current day. But at the very top, you can just flick it over, and move to a previous day. So all the historical data is still there, but that wasn't clear out of the gate. Once I knew it's easy and that's the point I want to make here. Once you get familiar with the flow and you realize how to use it, it's all there. It works really good. It's nice. You just have to learn. Now back to a positive. And when you get a fitness tracker, they throw all this data at you, which is great. You learn what's going on inside your body, but sometimes you look at it and you go, okay, this is bad, but I have no idea what to do to improve that. What can I do to fix it? How can I be healthier? It's information, but I know nothing what to do with it. And I love tools that mix the data in with learning opportunities, teaching moments, and small snippets so you're not overwhelmed. And right there, it'll say, here's some information about this. Here's what this number represents. Here's what you can do to improve it. Here are the things that you can change in your lifestyle that will make a big impact. So not only are you getting data and learning about your body and what's going on, but you're also realizing what I can do to improve that and feel better and be healthier. So the combination of those coming together is fantastic and they do a good job here. So I've been happy with that. And now another con, or at least at this point, 
a lot of fitness trackers, when you get them, they have motivational aspects built into them. And this is huge for a lot of people because when they get these, they get them to learn about themselves, to see what they've done, to have historical information, but also to motivate themselves. They see those rings, those competitions, the games, the things that say, hey, if you go put a little more work in, you're gonna complete that activity for that day. And when you might not have otherwise, when you said, I'm just gonna sit down and relax, you go, I'm so close, I gotta do this. And those motivational aspects, play a huge role on your health journey. And right now the Ultra Human Air Ring does not have a lot of that. You can look at your numbers and try to beat your previous, but that's just on your own. That's more of a manual thing. They don't have anything built in to motivate you. So I am looking forward to them doing that. And I imagine those are all things to come. And I guess one thing I should point out is that this is brand new. This is the first version of this product. And I imagine there's gonna be a million changes. So in six months a year, it's probably gonna be a completely different product. And if it does change a lot, I will put updates out there. So hit that subscribe button so you know when that kind of content comes out. But now on to another pro that I'm actually a big fan of, and that is their weekly report. A lot of times we get stuck in the in-app experience and whatever's available there but sometimes it's nice to take a step back and take a look at the bigger picture and that's what this report does it will show you your current week in the last two weeks on all sorts of different data points and let you know where you did better where you did worse and this forces you to take that more holistic view at it and go oh wow I've been good here but I didn't realize I've been struggling in these areas and you can kind of pivot and realize what you need to do to improve those numbers and your overall health. And that's why you get these things. So it just makes you take a different look at things and realize what you're gonna to do to improve on those. To summarize this up, there are some immaturities with flow and presentation, and I wish they had more motivational tools built into it. But overall, I have been extremely happy. One thing I didn't mention is that it does hold a charge for five days. I hate it when they have one or two days worth of charge. I wanna be able to put this thing on, forget about it, then charge it and go right back and forget about it. And it does that very well. It fits well, it's comfortable, it does collect a lot of data and it gives a lot of good information and a lot of learning opportunities. So if you wanna know what's going on with your body, the work you're putting in and where you can improve, this is a great option to do that. Again, free link in the description down below if you don't mind supporting the channel. Make sure you use LWT10 to save some money, but like, subscribe, you know the deal. Have a good one.